The TX Touch Pro. Hi, I'm Christopher with Simply Faster, and in this video, I review the use of the touchpad from Freelap. The touchpad is three inches in diameter, a third of an inch thick, and weighs one and a half ounces. It uses a very common CR2032 lithium watch battery rated at thousands of starts, and there's a compartment in the back for inserting a new battery. To use the touchpad, the athlete places it on the starting line, and there's a button in the center which they hold down with their thumb. When they press the button, a green LED will come on. The LED will be solid green for about a second. The internal circuit is charging during that time. Once the internal circuit is fully charged, the LED will begin blinking and the touchpad's ready to go. The athlete comes up in the set position. When they come out of the blocks, their thumb releases the button and that triggers it. It emits a beep for confirmation and it emits a magnetic pulse that will reset the internal timer of the chip they're wearing to zero. The touchpad was designed for block starts, and I don't recommend it for a three-point stance, and here's why. In a block start, the hand is about shoulder width, and the direction of the magnetic field matters. When the hand is about shoulder width, the magnetic field comes in at an angle. In a three-point stance, many athletes have a very shallow stance, and the hand is very close to the center line. That, the magnetic field is not coming in at the optimal direction, and there's a chance the chip could miss. And for those reasons, I recommend using a free lap cone when timing a 40-yard dash or other three-point starts. Some coaches ask, can the coach release the button on the touchpad? And the answer is yes. The coach stands next to the athlete. They hold the touchpad facing the top of the touchpad directly at the athlete. When the athlete's in their stance, they press and hold the button, and then they release the button on the athlete's first movement. One other tip. When timing two athletes in adjacent lanes using touchpads, I recommend putting the touchpad in the outer hand, away from the other athlete, so that if one athlete leaves slightly before the other, their touchpad won't affect the timing of the adjacent athlete. My name is Christopher. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the links below. Thanks for watching.